Samoa. Well, it is good to see everybody back here. You have reached the Ukulele Dad program. Yeah, right there, Ukulele Dad. Well, that's me. <laughs> but um, again, thanks for coming. Hope you're having a good month of May. It's gone pretty fast. Let's see, today is the 18th, right? So today is No Dirty Dishes Day. Amazing. <laughs> And tomorrow is National Devil's Food Cake Day. And then the 20th is Armed Forces Day in the United States. It is also Pick Strawberry Day. So, yep, those are some important days for you to keep track of. <laughs> but again, we hope everybody is having a good month. This is the Asian and Pacific Islander Heritage Month, so um, we'll... I got a, a song or two from from that month but we'll be talking about that a little bit more later but everybody today our theme is about appreciating music yeah imagine that appreciating music let me change my background because sometimes it goes haywire <laughs> yeah very strange there that's better okay <laughs> So this is the time of our program where we nice do some nice stretching. Yep. And then do some nice deep breathing in through the stomach. And out. Okay, so keep doing that as I share the following with you. Music. So there are many who produce movies as well as commercials. And they like to change, tweak, and refine their arrangements to get a certain type of emotional response. And the response from the music can pull and tug at our hearts and sit with us for days. So the music that we choose to play or listen to matters because music inevitably pierces the depths of our soul. So imagine a world without music of any kind. How would you be different? It would be strange. <laughs> yeah. Very strange without music. But thanks for joining me on this program because hopefully music is one part of the things that you like here, not my talk story. <laughs> but we are going to, I am going to play a song for you that talks about music. And let me see here. It is by a group called ABBA. Many of you have heard of ABBA before. They're fantastic. So I don't sing as good as them, but we'll do our best here. Okay. <laughs> okay, let me see here. Okay. This is called again, Thank You for the Music. So think about the music that you enjoy. In fact, I'm a bit of a bore If I tell a joke You've probably heard it before But I have a talent A wonderful thing so everyone listens When I start to sing I'm so grateful to do is sing it out loud so i'll say thank you for the music the songs i'm singing thanks for all the joy they're bringing who can live without it i ask in all honesty what would life be without a song or a dance what are we so i say thank you for the music for giving it Whoever it was, I'm a fan, so I 
say thank you for the music, the songs I'm singing. Thanks for all the joy they're bringing. Who can live without it? I ask in all honesty, what will I be without a song or a dance? What are we? So I say thank you for the music, for giving it to me. Sing it out loud to everyone, everybody. What a joy, what a life, what a chance. So I say thank you for the music, the songs I'm singing. Thanks for all the joy they're bringing. Who can live without it? I ask in all honesty. Mahalo, friends. Again, thank you for the music. And that comes to us from the group ABBA. Yep, Amelia, this was your song, too. <laughs> All right. But aloha to everybody out there, all of our Facebook friends and our subscribers and followers on Twitch. Good to see everybody out there. And thanks for joining us. I know a lot of you are very busy with your own streams and other things you do. But again, Take some time to take a look at this, even if you got to watch the recording. <laughs> All right. Well, we've got another thing I want to share with you. But before I do that, take a look here on our um, chat, on our Zoom chat. We have the sheet music is right here. Yeah, I think I have it also here in our Twitch chat. Hey, we're getting pretty, uh, pretty good here. <laughs> So look at either chat, but you can find the music for this particular program at facebook.com ukulele dad. That is where we have all the music for our ukulele class, which will be coming up in a minute. We also have the chord charts as well as the downloaded music. So you can find everything there. All right. But look here where it says Cal Hope. CalHope.org is a live chat. They also have a number, 833-317-HOPE. And these, again, are numbers and chats that you can visit. Also try this number, 415-609-2018, the Pacific Islander Wellness Initiative. So the reason I mention those is, um, yep, there are times that we just need to talk to somebody. And again, this live chat, this hope number, and this other 415 number, they are trained to help you out. But look at this three numbers here, 988, just three numbers. If you feel like you're going to harm yourself or others, please call that number and they will get you immediate assistance on the lifeline. Now, what I wanted to share with you was the following. We've been talking about helping others and providing strength to others. So this is our last one. It is entitled Own Choices. We are all responsible for our own choices, no matter what help we offer. We are not responsible to solve others' problems or control the choices they make. So again, I think today's uh, little lesson here is for us that try to help others. So some of the things that we can do in addition to us helping are to find professional help and advice, to research emotional health, to send a note of encouragement to the individuals, to share a humorous message and make them smile. Yeah, humorous messages are good. Join a support group. That's a good idea to get together with others. And then serve the individuals in ways that they ask for or agree to. 
But again, friends, our servant leader friends, keep in mind that you got to take care of yourself first. So again, you can serve to a point. If, it, if you're in a situation where maybe you just can't do that, then don't. <laughs> very, very important, my friends. All right. So those are our two areas of advice for all of you. Now, I am going to do another song related to music, and that is called Sing. And I am pretty sure this song was is written by Joe Raposo, but I believe it was sung by the Carpenters. Fantastic. And um, at California State University, Long Beach, near where I live, they have the Carpenter Center, which is dedicated again to the Carpenters. And Karen Carpenter has passed on, so aloha to her family. All right, so here we go, everybody. Sing. So think about music and its effects for all of you. And aloha to Turtle Cat. Thanks for always joining us. singing out there you'll feel great <laughs> all right now let me just share a little bit about the asian and pacific islander heritage month and then we'll move on to ukulele class so find your instruments everybody but here we go this is the again in the united states this month is called the asian american and pacific islander heritage month so look at here we have the countries, first of all, of East Asia, okay? Now, I was uh, sharing this with some, I think they were in third grade, some third grade students the other day. We were learning ukulele and learning about the Asian American and Pacific Islander Heritage Month. But I asked them, what are some countries in East Asia? I didn't have the answer there. So they said, China, Japan, and they also said Korea, and then a little later someone said Taiwan, I think it was in the second group. But yeah, they left out some of uh, our other countries. Now, next we come to the countries of South Asia, everybody. This was harder for the group. The only one they got was India and Bangladesh. So again, I want everybody to think about that when we have this particular month of the year. I think we leave out a lot of our countries. We're, ju we're just not aware or we don't think about them, okay? Now, 
Finally, we have Southeast Asia. And I live near Long Beach, California. I'm a native of Long Beach, but we have a large Cambodian population. But um, here they did mention Indonesia, the Philippines, and they also mentioned Thailand, but they didn't mention some of the others. So again, here in California, we have large Cambodian population as well as Vietnamese population in Orange County area. So a lot of them. Now, here's where they got real quiet here. I asked them about the islands of the Pacific. Okay, there's our map. So we have Melanesia, Micronesia, and Polynesia the three island groups. So I said, well, who do you know in Micronesia? And they did not know. It's pretty amazing. But um, some of you have heard of the large island of Guam, which is in the Mariana Islands. But we also have the northern Mariana Islands, Saipan, Tinian, and Rota. And then there are just so many other islands here. I have a friend, Lorianne, is from the island of Palau. I also have a friend in Kiribati. I have Mr. QB in the Marshall Islands. Um, there are many Marshallese in Orange County, California, or Costa Mesa, as well as in Arkansas. So many, many islands here in Micronesia, and a lot of people just don't know them. Next, we talked about Melanesia. The only one they got was Fiji. So again, we have all of these different places here in Melanesia. And then Polynesia they knew because they knew Hawaii, then they knew Samoa, which is my island. But there are many others. We've heard of Tonga before. We may have heard of New Zealand, which its real name is Aotearoa. French Polynesia includes the island of Tahiti and Bora Bora, but like I said, there are many other islands. Um, very interesting. Now, notice I have Kiribati here in Micronesia, and I have Kiribati here in Polynesia, because it's in both. <laughs> but friends, that is your geography lesson for today. <laughs> but I hope it helps, because too often we celebrate these various places, and we just don't know too many of them, everybody. <laughs> now, let us learn a couple of songs here. And our first song comes to us from the islands of Samoa. And in Samoa, we say Talofa. Okay. So that's what this song is called, Talofa Lava. So, which means hello or very hello. <laughs> so again, everybody, those of you that are brand new, we are going to play the instrument, ukulele. If you don't have one, just use the air ukulele and just practice in the air there. But this is our chord chart. The name of our chord is the A7 chord. This is where we put our fingers. So in our fingers, if we hold them to ourselves, if we hold it like this, we have finger one, finger two, finger three, and finger four. Yeah, I should have used this hand because this is the hand we use. One two, three, and four. So just face it to yourself. One, two, three, and four. Okay. And then we also have on the chart the names of the strings. So we have string one is the one closest to me, the G string. And then string two is the C string. And then string three is the E string. And then string four is the A string. Very good. And then you would put your first finger on string two, fret number one. So the frets are the sections of the ukulele, fret one, two, three, and four. So first finger is on string two. Let's do that. We can do that. First finger on string two. And then we strum like this, down, up, down. I usually use my thumb, but you can use your fingers like that. Whatever works for you, everybody. Okay, A7, five, six, let's strum. A7, good. All right, you did it. Now, next comes a little harder chord. 
This chord is called the D7. So D7, the simple chord, is not bad. Your first finger is on fret 2, string 1, which is the G string. And then your second finger is on string 3, which is the E string. Okay, so fret 2. So let's try it. First finger string 1, second finger string 3, D7. Good. You're playing it. Perfect. Now, I will teach this to you anyway. For some of you, it's a little too advanced, but this is called the D7 complicated. <laughs> so your first finger comes all the way across fret two on string one, two, three, and four. The A string, okay. So first finger comes all the way across fret two. Second finger is on string four. Okay, D7. So that is your alternative. That's the hard alternative. Okay, now, next we have the G string. Now, the good news, we're using some of these in the next song, so you're in good shape. So the G chord, I'm not, I, I think I said string, I meant to say chord. Your first finger is on string two, the C string. And your second finger is on string four, the A string. And your third finger is on string, th string three, the E string. So it is fret two and fret three. This looks like an upside down triangle, wouldn't you say? Now, first finger is on string two, second finger string four, third finger string three, G. All right, everybody. Now, we've got two other chords, but these are not hard at all, so you'll like them. The first one is called the G diminished, and the second one is the G sixth. So let's start with G diminished, everybody. First finger is on string two, and second finger is on string four. The A strings, okay, so one and two, fret one. So this is the G diminished. First finger string two, second finger st string four. Now, the next one is G6. So your first finger string two and second is on string four. That's G6. So this is why this is pretty simple. Start off on G diminished, first and second, fret one. Then we just slide up to the second fret, G6. Slide back, G diminished, slide up, G6, slide back, G diminished. So that's what we'll be doing at the end of our song as we're playing the fancy ending. <laughs> so if you look in your music, we have G6, G diminished, G6, G diminished, G6. So that's the fancy ending of this song. All right. So here we go. In your music, it may say F sharp minor. Just write in your music that is exactly the same as D7, okay? So, this song, like I said, is Talofalaba, which means hello there. Then we have Uafa'ape Feamai Oto, which means how are ya? So, that is the second line. Then we have Olo'o Maloloina Fafetai, that means fine, thank you. So I think Samoan might be the hardest part of this song. <laughs> but uh, again, Samoan is pronounced exactly the same as it sounds. It has the same vowels as Spanish. A, E, I, O, U. A, E, I, O, U. That's for us A, E, I, O, U. But it's A, E, I, O, U. Okay? You can do it, everybody. If not, review the recording after this program. Here we go. So the introduction is a seven, two, three, four, F sharp minor or D seven, and G two, three, four, five skips. Ta lo fa la 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 la. Ua fa a pe fe a mai o to. O lo o ma lo lo ina fa a fe.
did it, everybody. You sang your song in Samoan. Good job. So again, this is a wonderful song because you say, hello, how are you? Fine, thank you. <laughs> yeah, you might get some uh, nice tarot root out of this. <laughs> All right, everybody. That was our first tune. Now, the next one is the Hukilau, and we actually did this last week. So this is part two of the Hukilau, everybody. All right. So see if you can find your music in there. But the Hukila, as we explained, is a very um, traditional song on the islands of Hawaii. And it is sung on the north shore of Hawaii. That's where a lot of my relatives live up there. The Hukila. And again, the Hukila is how the people fish. They cast their nets in the ocean as a group, and then they pull it in as a group. So that's what the Hukila is all about. So let us review some of these chords. We learned them all last week, but, <laughs> but we will review them again for those that forgot. Now, as I said, the good news, we've already learned some today. The first is the A7 chord there. First finger is on string two. So that is the first one that you need to know. Let me see. The other one is our tricky D7 there. Well, as long as you stick with the simple, you're fine. So you have the D7 simple, or if you choose, you can do the D7 complicated, okay? So that's the other one you need to know. And what else? The G chord we just did, so that's good. Okay. All right, so here's the G chord. Yeah, I think that's, I think that's it. Those are the ones that you don't, that you already know. one that everybody needs to know that is the it's called the a minor seven or the c6 chord okay and you'll notice it is a no hand chord you don't use your left hand but don't take your left hand off the instrument it'll fall down <laughs> so yeah you see that so the c6 looks just like this also known as a minor seven Hey, hey, so two more and we're going to play. Our next one, which is new for today, is the E7 chord. So first finger on string one, fret one. Second finger is on string two, fret two. And third finger is on string four, fret two. So that looks like this. Again, first finger string one, second finger string two, and third finger string four the E7. All right, now, of course, we have the hardest chord of the day because it uses four fingers. And this one is called the G sharp diminished. So you'll notice here, yep, that's the G sharp diminished. So let me see. So your first finger for the G sharp diminish, hey, I forgot to put this in, so let me write it in here. So your first finger for G sharp diminish, and then I'll show you here in a minute, is actually on string one. Then your second finger is on string three. Your third finger is on string two, and your fourth finger on string four. So let me show you again. First finger is on string one, second finger is on string two, again fret one, third finger is on string three, fret two, and fourth finger is on string four, fret two. So this is the G sharp diminished. So if you look at the first line, you're on the G. And then you go from the G to the G sharp diminished. And then from the G sharp diminished to D7. So, yep, I would practice that line because it is a little harder. So let me give you a clue. If you get stuck on the G sharp diminished, you can skip it because it still sounds okay just playing a G. But I think that was the main tricky part in this song. 
But let's do it. Again, the Hukilau. This is the song about throwing the nets into the ocean and catching the ama ama, which are the common mullet fish. All right, everybody, here we go. Starting on the A7, five, six, here we go. A7, D7, and G. A7, D7, and G. Here we go. Oh, we're going to the Hukilau. Hooky, 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 lau. Everybody loves the Hukilau. wasn't too bad except for that G sharp diminished but like I said you can skip it if you like and then the Hawaiian language is like the Samoan language you pronounce it just like it sounds so again stick with your vowels a e e o u well friends it's amazing we have done it good job and um, do me a favor this week take some aloha out there to the world and today my friends sadly is Asian American and Pacific. So this is the day where we, again, do all that we can to encourage aloha out there to stop hate and bullying. So friends, you can do it. Take some aloha to the world. That is how we will stop hate. Yeah. Well, let me share with you our final aloha song, everybody. And of course, we got to pull up the final slide. Yeah. I don't want to get in trouble, right? <laughs> All right, let me see the final slide. Let's see. What is this show again? Oh, <laughs> hey, maybe I can't find it. Oh, no, there it is. Yeah, that's it. So, so we will see all of you next Thursday at 12 p.m. Pacific time. I have my School Talk Story Show on Facebook on Wednesdays at 12 p.m. Pacific Time. That's more talk story there. <laughs> and then I have two in-person Ohana nights at the Ohana Hawaiian Barbecue in Lakewood. Aloha to Joseph but, and Eric. Yeah, aloha to Eric. But um, we hold it at 7 p.m. on the first or second Thursday monthly at the Ohana Hawaiian Barbecue in Lakewood, California. So we'll be there June the 1st. And this week we had our Lesona Ukulele class at the restaurant. This is held on the third Tuesday at 6 p.m. Pacific time. All right. So like I said, if you're in the L.A. area, please come. If not, start an Ohana night in your area. Find yourself a Hawaiian or other Pacific Islander restaurant and have a get together. It's great. Take your ukuleles. Here we go, our final aloha song, everybody. Yeah.
Samoa. Again, everybody, it is a pleasure to see all of you. Aloha and take some aloha to the world, especially on this day where we need to again eliminate hate. Take care, everyone.